For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright guys, now let's uh, do these three problems at the same time, which are determine the angle between cables AB and AC. The second one is determine the uh, magnitude of the projected uh, component of the force, which is given here in Cartesian vector form, acting along uh, BA and then acting along CA for the second part of the problem. So let's, let's start with the first part. First, what you always want to do is find the position vectors of all the points involved, which are A, B, and C. So A is equal to 6i plus 0j plus 0k. B is equal to 0i minus 1j plus 2k. C is equal to 0i plus 1j plus 3k. Now that we have the position vectors, let's find the direction vectors. First, AB and AC, because that's what we gotta find. So, AB is B minus A, which comes out to be negative 6i minus 1j plus 2k. And now you gotta find the magnitude of this vector, which we're gonna need. The magnitude comes out to be the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. This is the x, this is the y, and this is the z. You plug them into this formula and you get that the magnitude is 6.4. Now let's find a c vector, which is c minus a, which comes out to be negative 6i plus 1j plus 3k and the magnitude of the AC vector which is found in the same manner as we did the one above comes out to be 6.8 now to find the angle between them you know that the dot product of AB dot AC is the same as the magnitude of AB times the magnitude of AC times the cosine of the angle between them, which is the angle that we're trying to find. So AB is negative 6i minus 1j plus 2k dot AC, which is negative 6i plus 1j plus 3k. And that is equal to the magnitude of AB, which is 6.4, times the magnitude of AC, which is 6.8, times the cosine of the angle between them by definition. So negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36, negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1, positive 2 times positive 3 is positive 6. So this is equal to 6.4 times 6.8 times the cosine of the angle between them. This comes out to be 41 times 6.4 times 6.8 times the cosine of the angle between them. And the angle, when you solve by dividing 41 by 6.4, dividing by 6.8 and doing the cosine inverse, you're going to get that the angle is equal to 19.6 degrees. And this is for the first part. Now, for the second part, let me write down the Cartesian vector of this force because we're going to use it. Minus 200j plus 500k. Now, for the second part, we're going to need vector BA. Notice that we have vector AV. So now we're going to find vector BA. All you do is you get AV and you change the signs. So AV is negative 6, negative 1, and positive 2. So this is going to be positive 6i plus 1j minus 2k. It's a neat little shortcut. The magnitude is the same 
as a b they have the same magnitude just different signs so it's 6.4 there's no need to calculate it so now we can find univector ba by dividing the vector va by the magnitude and that comes out to be 0.9375i plus 0.156j minus 0.3125k so this is the univector if you want to find the projection of f along B, uh, ba what you got to do is you got to do the cross product between the force vector and the univector for va which is this tiny vector right here with a magnitude of 1 so this is 400 i minus 200 j plus 500 k dot 0.9375i plus 0.156j minus 0.3125k so 400 times 0.9375 is about 375 minus 31.2 which is 200 times 0.156 minus 156.25 which is 500 times 0.3125 negative so this comes out to be 187.55 for the projection of f along ba which is the second part now we're going to do the third part and for that let me put this in the back page now vector ca is the same as vector ac just backwards and it has the same magnitude therefore vector ca is going to be positive 6i minus 1j minus 3k and the magnitude of CA is the same as the magnitude of AC, which is 6.8, which we already found before. The univector CA is the same as the vector CA divided by its magnitude, which comes out to be 0.882i minus 0.147j minus 0.441k. Now, if you want to find the projection of F along CA, you got to do the dot product with the univector CA, which is this tiny vector right here with a magnitude of 1. So F dot UCA is F, which is given 400i minus 200j plus 500k dot 0.882i minus 0.147j minus 0.441k so 400 times 0.882 is around 352.8 now negative 200 times negative 1.147 is positive 29.4 and 500 times negative 0.441 is around negative 220. So this comes out to be 162.2 for this part. As you can see, I did these uh, three problems together and I was able to skip a lot of steps. For example, finding CA instead of having to subtract uh, A, A and C and finding it I was able to deduce it and save a lot of work as an engineer so should you and it helps you understand better how these vectors work if you have this vector and you have to find the same vector just backwards 
all you do is rewrite the same vector and flip the signs why do all the work again the magnitude is going to be the same so it saves you a lot of work so final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you